What will you be needing, Captain? I got your currency. That's grand. I've got something for you, too. Let's meet in my barracks later. Can't hang about, sir. Guards around. But I thought this might come in handy. Boot polish? I appreciate the sentiment, Sergeant, but I've always been a suede man. No, sir. It's for your face. Help you sneak about at night, see? Use a mirror to make sure you don't miss anywhere. Well, thanks, I guess. I'll stash it in my hiding place for now. There's one more thing, sir. I bribed one of the guards with that currency you gave me. He'll slip me anything Jerry confiscates from the prisoners. So, if you happen to have a run-in with the guards, come and find me, and I'll see what I can do. I'll do that, Sergeant. You sleep well now. Good morning, gentlemen. I am delighted to see you all so eager to face the day. This! Hey, hands off, Wolfgang. Didn't they teach you any manners in kindergarten? Watch where you're treading those jackboots. How nice! Another American airman! Surely you did not think you could evade the Reich for long, Lieutenant. Hey, buddy! I was beginning to figure they plowed you into the fatherland. Not me. I managed to give the search party the slip. But then... Well, did you get a load of the local dames? J.D., don't tell me. Let's just say I decided to lay low for a while. But it turns out this Fräulein's pop is some big-shot general around here. Doesn't take too kindly to my line of international relations. <laughs> Next thing I know, the goon squad shows up. Say, you planning on sticking around here? Nope. You? Nope. And I'll tell you what. They brought me in here the long way around, and it looks like part of this camp's a truck compound. Some kind of long-haul stop-off point. Oh, yeah? I figure if we could stow away on one of those trucks, we could be home for Christmas. Sorry to butt in, but I couldn't help overhearing. You're not the first prisoners to take an interest in those trucks, and the Krauts know it. They've made sure the only way into that compound's through the driver's quarters, and they keep the door to that padlocked. Crowbar? Crowbar. You'll be lucky. The guards keep all their tools locked in a store in the northwest of the camp. Then all we need is the key to the store. What are the chances we'll find one lying around the crowd's barracks? These are German guards we're talking about. Okay, here's the deal. I'll distract the guards during morning exercise while you sneak in and look for a key. Just let me know when you're ready to move. JD, I always said we made a beautiful team. What can I do for you, Captain? Hey, Clancy, you know how to get to the German barracks? Well, it's just north of the mess hall over the fence. But if you want to get in, you'll have to distract the guard. He's posted outside all day. All day? How about at night? Whoa, are you kidding? At night, the whole place is full of snoring krauts. Although, I guess you might be okay if you moved real slow and quiet. That's assuming you could get past the searchlights in the first place. Have you picked up any tips on avoiding the guards? These days I don't bother, but in my heyday, I was near invisible. It's all about staying crouched, moving slowly, and using objects around you for cover. Boy, was I good. I'll speak to you later. What do you be needing, Captain? I've got to get a key from the German barracks. Any tips? A key? Oh, I wouldn't know about that. But I'll tell you this. 
Before you go through a door, it's best to check through the keyhole first. Tripping over a German guard can really ruin your day. That's all you know? Sorry, but I never had the patience for all that sneaking around. Try Clancy. He's got more training in that field. So how did you meet Clancy? Clancy? We got thrown in the same camp a couple of years ago. I supplied him with tools and the like for his escape plans. He supplied me with currency, and we've been friends ever since. I wish you could have seen him back then. Scourge of the guards he was. The boot polish is great. Got anything else? Actually, I do. Take a look at this telescope. It's not much, but it's great for spying on guards, especially up the towers. It's yours for 20 currency. Okay, here's your 20. You don't actually have 20 currency here, Captain. I'll hang on to it until you do. I'll speak to you later. These guards don't look so smart. JD, how about you go... Hey, would you give me a break? I only just got here. But I'll... You ready to get the Krauts off of my back? Good to go, boss. Leave the guards to me. You go check out the Krauts barracks. Come and find me when you've got that key. What'll you be needing, Captain? You still got that telescope, O'Brien? I have. If you've got the 20 currency, it's yours. Okay, here's your 20. You won't regret it, Captain. I'll place it in your hiding place when I get the chance. Safer that way, you see. I'll speak to you later. Hey, boss. The key's ours. Nice going. I'll come find you after lights out. So we can get into that tool store now, but sneaking past the guards could be tough. Tough, yes. Impossible, no. No? In fact, your good buddy JD did a dry run earlier, and I'll tell you how. I'm all ears. Looks like at some point a truck hit the surrounding wall, and the Krauts haven't gotten around to patching up the hole. That's where you got through? Sure did. Had to crouch down a little and keep an eye on the guard tower. Any patrols? Two. But they tend to stop off for a chat each time they meet, so I slip past then. Simple as that, huh? Almost. There's one other guy patrolling around the store. 
Had to duck behind some logs to avoid that fella. JD, you're good, but I'm better. Bet I can do it in half the time. What can I do for you, Captain? What do you know about the guard towers? Well, there's a tower outside the main fence in each corner of the camp. These shouldn't cause you too much trouble. But the one inside the camp can be a real pain. It's next to the German store, so go careful if you're heading that way. When's the best time to get them, day or night? Well, at night you have to avoid the searchlights. I used to dance between those things like a ballerina. In the day, you need to keep an eye on the guard in the tower. Sneak by when his back's turned. Hey, talk to O'Brien. He might make you one of his telescopes. I know. He's already filled me in. Pretty neat, ain't they? He makes them out of old spectacles. What's the best route to the German store? Hmm. I guess your best bet would be to hop over the northern fence of our compound. Just make sure you avoid the guards that patrol the main road through the camp. You're looking for a crowbar, right? Say I was. You should be careful. There's no way you can hide one in your pocket, so you'll have to carry it back by hand. And if the guard spots you with it, he'll get suspicious and investigate. I'll speak to you later. What do you be needing, Captain? Know anything about the German store, O'Brien? From what I can see, it's pretty heavily guarded. There's a guard tower nearby, and it looks like a guard patrols around the store. If I was heading over there, I'd go at night. Oh? Fewer guards at night, see? And they're less likely to see you in the dark, especially if you use that boot polish. Only problem's the searchlights. If they spot you, they'll track you, and then the guards will know just where to head for. Have you managed to cheer up Clancy yet? I've tried all my best jokes, believe me. But not so much as a flicker of a smile. I'll speak to you later. <laughs>